Hello, children, and welcome to episode seven of A Chef at Large. This week, I'm going to take you to Hong Kong's restaurant and bar show, where the Hong Kong Chefs Association arranged the Tabasco Hot Chef cooking competition. And since this is football season, I'm going to show how to make your own Tabasco hot wings at home. We got a lot to cover, so let's get moving. The restaurant and bar show in Hong Kong really focuses on local vendors, and so there's a whole lot of wine merchants and beer merchants, not that many food or equipment manufacturers. It's also a great place to go for cocktail seminars and bartending uh, seminars. And it's a good place. You can see a lot of uh, cocktail tossing competitions, kind of like that movie with what's his name. And of course, cocktail ladies and rock and roll. It's also a great place to hook up with old colleagues and friends, as well as to see uh, world star chefs do some cooking demonstrations. You gotta cook me something better. This year, the Hong Kong Chefs Association partnered up with Tabasco to host the Tabasco Hot Team Hot Chef Competition. Uh, this is a competition for junior chefs. It's uh, people under the age of 25. That's the judges' table. And these guys uh, had to do uh, appetizer buffet uh, out of eight different items. And they had uh, a little over an hour to prepare. I think it was two hours to prepare, actually. Uh, they did a very good job. Outstanding, especially some of these kids are only four years in cooking school, or four months in cooking school, uh, not even in the industry yet. So really quite quite stunning display. These kind of culinary competitions are really difficult. You have usually uh, four or five floor judges walking around studying every move you make. And then on top of it all, you have to cook real food, which is then uh, tasted by the judges and graded. So it's really hard to do. It's a high-pressure thing. And on top of it all, you're in front of the crowds in the uh, show, all lingering on, watching you almost cut your fingers off. It's a very difficult challenge, and the, the young teams in Hong Kong did an outstanding job. In the end, I know the judges had a real hard time finding the uh, winner, uh, it was actually by 0.4, uh, less than half of a point, that the winner was finally chosen, and the gold went to this team right here. I like my wings a little bit mild, so I'm just going to use uh, about 60 ml of garlic Tabasco, 40 ml original Tabasco, 100 ml tomato paste, and 100 ml drawn butter. You mix the tomato ingredients and the pepper together and then blend in the drawn butter slowly. You're basically making a vinaigrette. To cool your wings down, of course, you're going to need Roquefort dressing. This recipe calls for 150 grams Roquefort, 60 ml heavy cream, a tablespoon of chopped garlic, 30 ml mayonnaise, a teaspoon of cider vinegar, and salt and pepper to taste. With a fork, crumble your Roquefort, then add in all your other ingredients except the vinegar, and cream with a fork until smooth. Then stir in the vinegar, and this will help sort of set up the sauce. You can finally season it to finish. Section whole wings simply by slicing through the joint. It should not be difficult. You can discard the tips. Today I was screwing around and so I used my injector to inject Tabasco sauce right into the wings. You don't have to do this. Of course, prepare the obligatory uh, carrot or celery, carrot, and cucumber sticks. Finally, deep fry your wings in canola or other vegetable oil at 190 centigrade. It usually takes about 10 minutes per batch of wings. Then you can put your wings in a container like this, pour the sauce on top, and shake, shake, shake till they're coated. That's it. Delicious chicken wings in just a few minutes for your own barbecue party. 
As always, music and show notes can be found on my blog and also visit music.podshow.com. Thank you and enjoy your meal. <laughs>